lockdown, just a fiction, sorry. And then these are the scores from a test of 24 students. Um, so usually if the scores, the difference is in the scores is, is much bigger. So the intention of constructing a uh, frequency distribution and then histogram, polygon, um, and then the bad graphs is, is to just to simplify the data for the, for the researcher or for the reader. So you can click on data. Uh, I think you've activated in data analysis. And then you can select histogram here and then click on OK. And then you select the, the scores that you want to uh, consult. Manually, you can do like this. If you read the textbook, you see that these are the scores to how many tools that, how many scores of two are available in the data set, how many threes, how many. So I, I did this, but for manual paper, you do like this. So in Excel, you select like what I did. For now, let's, let's leave this like this. And then the output range, you can click here and, and select any space here. So our histogram is going to be there. So you must select the chart output and click on OK. So this is the but you can see that it, it's, it's rounding off to, I, I don't know why it does that, but you can adjust it to make it a three according to and a four and a five. You see that Excel also provide this more. We don't want this. We don't want this more here. We don't want it actually. And then you can even delete this row even. Uh, you can delete this row so that it doesn't confuse you. You can even delete this frequency. So you can, let, let us move it a little bit here, this table, let me make it a little bit bigger. So you can label according to like, let's say preparedness. Uh, sorry. Pre, let's, let's leave it like that just for the sake of time. Uh, three, how many threes are they? Seven. Make the mistake here. We have seven. How many fours are there? We have three. How many fives are there? We have five. Okay, this is the correct table. So you can see we have gaps. This on the Instagram. So you click. Uh, you 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 click on any bar and then you format the cells. And then you see you can drag it backwards to zero. So it, it becomes a Instagram. You can also change the color format uh, of the, of the histogram. So you, what you do is you, you you click on these beans on the bars. So you, only the a single bean must be highlighted like this. You right click. You can make it whatever color that you that you want. Uh, do the same here. Let's make it what is your favorite color? Uh, then whatever color that you may want to, so that it differs, there's a little bit of differentiation. So that will be, you can say here, yeah, uh, scale of one to 10, if you want to. Scale of one to 10. I don't know why is it slow. Okay, like that. So this is what, what you're looking for. So this is the histogram. Okay, so you'll be done. But you see now we have another version of, of a group frequency. You cannot easily do that. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of bars of which it doesn't simplify the data according to the intention of creating histogram. So for, for, for this one, what I did here, you see as you read your textbooks, I, I created the intervals. And how do you create the intervals? The width. So you the maximum number was 69 minus 42 divided by 5. So 5.4, so I round off to the nearest. So that's what I did here for 40 to 44. These are the scores that were available. And then if you read um, with the continuous and real limits and other stuff, you see that these actually are the boundaries. So from 49.5 to 44.5. So these are the upper limits for that. And then you see that I've created the midpoints. I'm doing this to show you that how you can, so you can use the midpoints too construct the bin for the histogram. Okay, so that's what you do there. So, but I didn't complete this. I want you to do that uh, when you have time. So do the, do the same histogram, okay. And then, where's the input? Okay, sorry. 
these are the scores that I, I want. And then the bin, you can, you can select this, but it's, it's confusing rather to the midpoints, okay, like that. And then um, let, let us have this in the new, um, on a separate page. And then you select the chart like that, and then you click on OK. You see, we have this. We can delete the more as well, like what it did previously. Uh, we can delete it. We still it. Okay, yeah. Uh, delete the the row. And okay. You see, we do. Let's let us make it a little bit bigger. Uh, like this. We do the same. Right click, format data. We format the data and we make it like this. And then you can do like what I showed you earlier. You can, you can, you can, you can now change the the colors like what you what they've done here, something like that. So you can proceed. You can even delete this. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Uh, okay, like that. So that's that, that's what you do. I think it, it, it makes sense to you. And then for a bar graph, you can maybe select in terms of, so you can insert, insert the purple. Actually, let me select for you first. So we select this. This uh, these are the number of psychologists available, whatever that study that you want to do. And then you click on whatever that you want to set. And then you see it comes up like this. So there's a bar. So it, it when we have category, um, when, when we have the, the scores, we measure it at a categorical level. That's why you make use of, 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 of a bar graph. So you can say, you can type here, you can, you can adjust according so that it makes sense to anyone who is reading your, 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 your results. You can also do the same like what I showed you. Yeah, yeah right click and you can make it whatever color that you want so that there is differentiation and then it can be clear to the reader is whatever that you want to do. So even in the chart, what is it? This chart. You can format it, you can change the type. Um, okay, let's not do this one now. But you can change, you can make it a poly, a poly, a polygon and all those. Yeah, but you can play around and try to see what comes up. I hope and believe that this was very useful to you, but read around frequency distribution, but the intention is just to make, uh, not, not, it's not because of colors, but just so that the reader understand. So here you can easily see that two, the scores of two and two and, and or something like that. Thank you so much and uh, watch out for, for other videos that are going to, to come up. Um, I wish you all the best.